Okay, so today I have the Glock 19X, which is pretty much a Glock 17 handguard or lower receiver and a Glock 19 slide. Comes in tan, just like the real steel one does. Uh, no other color this comes into, it just comes in tan only, just like the real firearm does. It has trades on it, which is probably why it's so damn expensive, coming in at around $170 for a Glock. And I have to say, for $170, you don't really get much. Uh, but let's see how it shoots. You see, even though you don't get a lot with this gun, it does feel really good to shoot. Now for $170, let me go over what you get. Uh, you get a Glock, so you get all the trademarks and you get all of the fancy, you know, whatever things written on the slide, if that's what you're into. I don't really care, as long as the pistol works and functions fine and performs well, then that's all I really care about. You get this little tiny rail on the bottom, which pretty much serves no purpose other than to put a flashlight on it if that's what you're into. No threaded tip, and this tip is pretty disappointing. It just has a uh, orange tip or like the federally mandated orange tip that every airsoft gun has to come with. It kind of has like that, I don't know if you can see it, but don't worry, it's empty and there's no mag in it. As you can see, the tip in there is kind of, oh shit. Wow, it actually came out. So that's crazy. That's actually captured on camera. The tip in here is actually came out. I don't know how or where. Huh. That's actually really crazy. Okay, so anyways, the tip was in there, right? And it goes so far in there that you actually can't remove it unless you remove the inner barrel. And I looked on forums and like Reddit posts and YouTube videos. You literally have to take the inner barrel out of this gun in order to fully remove the orange tip. But I guess I just shot it out of this one. I guess at some point when we were shooting during the shooting test, it just kind of came out. I have no idea where it is. But there you go, captured it on camera. The orange tip is actually just flew out of the gun. I have no idea where it is. So anyways, for $170, you don't get a threaded tip, which we'll go over some other guns where that are cheaper and do come with orange tips that are threaded. So yeah, let's shoot it a little bit more because I actually had no idea that that came out like that. It probably is not supposed to do that and we'll probably see a decrease in accuracy, but screw it. Let's step back a little bit here. Yeah, no, it's still, it's still shooting pretty accurate. I mean, apparently what I saw on forums is that when it, when the orange tip is not in there at all, it actually makes the barrel like kind of move around in there. So you kind of get like really inconsistent shots. But I was able to hit these targets relatively consistently without any issues. So yeah, let's talk about these mags. So these mags are, I think, it says 16, but I think it holds like 18 or 19 rounds in here. And it will have no problem feeding them. It will, no ha it will have no problem emptying out the magazine on one gas charge. I know some pistols tend to kind of like get really weak towards the end of the mag. That doesn't happen with this mag. This mag uh, will feed every BB just as strong. And we'll chrono it later just to make sure. But yeah, you can get actually two full mags and we'll test that right now actually. We'll get two full mags out of this one, uh, just one kind of canister. So this is a green gas mag, and these are $44 each. So very expensive. So don't go dropping these on concrete. 
because they will break. I have two of them here. Oh look, this one still has BBs in it. So let's shoot it some more. Why not? Yeah, look at that. I'm shooting him perfectly fine. Yeah, so I guess that I guess that whole barrel thing is a myth. And we're proving that right now. Uh, I was gonna talk a lot of shit about that orange stuff still being in there, but since it fell out, I guess I don't really have to talk that much crap about it, right? Okay, let's talk about what you get in the box, or you know, for those of you who like unboxings and stuff like that. So you get your Glock. It comes wrapped in some sort of plastic bag. You get one tan magazine, and then you get your box. So inside the box, you have nothing because the gun is already outside of it. But you get some O-rings, which is something new manufacturers are starting to do, starting to put some extra O-rings in there. You get this little warranty card, and then you get an instruction manual that nobody cares about. So anyways, let's go back to shooting the gun. Actually, let's do the magazine test. So, we'll take the magazine. Perfect stack. Now we'll fill it with green gas and we'll see. How reliable it is. So full, what, 18 rounds? Okay, we're empty. The mag still feels strong, so we will put more in it. I was a little careless with that one, but whatever. It's still going. It's still going. It still feels strong, so I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, it's dying now. Okay. Yeah. It, it doesn't wanna die. So it's safe to say you can get probably three full mags on one gas fill. That's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. $170, can I recommend this pistol to you? I would say yes because it is a really nice pistol. It feels really great in hand. It's very accurate. The hop up is very nice. Actually, let's talk about the hop up because I haven't talked about that yet. So the hop up is not really a conventional hop up. You have to uh, do it a little bit differently. So you need an Allen key for this and it comes with an Allen key in the box. So if you look inside of here, there is a hole. And in that hole, you put an Allen key and you turn that Allen key to go up you, you turn it left, yeah, left to bring the hop up up and then right to bring the hop up 
down. You could also do it manually, you could just take the slide off and then manually turn the little knob that's inside. Uh, it's a pretty cool feature actually that it has that Allen key thing so you could like move the hop up so you don't actually have to take the slide off every single time. But going back to what I recommend this gun, I would recommend it if it's part of your loadout. Like if you have a Glock in real life and you want it to replicate that Glock that you have on your loadout, this is perfect. It has all the trades exactly where they should be. It looks exactly like a Glock 19X. It comes in the same color. You know, it feels ergonomically, it feels great. The sights, the sight picture, you can see that sight picture has like the white dots, which is pretty cool. I like that. And yeah, it just, it feels really great in hand. Is there better options out there? Totally. There's so many better options out there, which we'll look at in a second. Over this $170 gun, you can buy one for a hundred bucks, that's better. You can buy one for $120, that's better. And it gives you way more, threaded tips, longer rails, all that stuff. But if this is something that you want to mimic something that you would get in real life, this is the perfect gun for you. And it's really fun to shoot. I mean, it's really fun to shoot. It's really fun to shoot. Uh, all parts are metal, so you don't gotta worry about that. Slide is metal, lower, receiver is polymer. Uh, plastic, trigger, all that's pretty much just the same, same crap the real Glock has. Pretty much. Nothing really different. Just the, the airsoft version. Um, yeah, what is it there is to do or say? Uh, durability test? Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm not doing that for $170. Uh, but yeah, you can throw it around, it's fine, nothing's gonna happen to it, but yeah, would I recommend the Glock 19X? If you have the money and it goes with your loadout, sure, go ahead. Holsters are pretty much, there's a million thousand, five hundred thousand holsters for it, so you'll be fine with that. But yeah, do I recommend that? If you have $107 in your pocket, go right ahead, it's a good buy.